हेलो एंड वेलकम यू आर वॉचिंग भविष्य एंड आई एम योर होस्ट ए पी बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दी एक्सपेरिमेंट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन आई पुट अ लिंक फ्रॉम वेयर यू कैन डाउनलोड ऑल द राइटिंग मटेरियल ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस इज द फोर बीट शिफ्ट रजिस्टर एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज Two ICs, that is seven four double zero for debouncing and seven four nine five for the register. Seven four double zero used for the debounce circuit and seven five four nine five used for the shift register. Remember, this both IC has fourteen legs, and we can say, or we can say it has fourteen pins. So, perform this experiment. First, prepare the debounce circuit, as shown in the figure. Using IC seven four double zero. This IC consists four nine gates and two are used of this circuit. Hence, for this circuit, from pin number one and pin number five, one kilo ohm resistor connected to the power supply. And you can see in the circuit. Now connect pin number two with pin number six and pin number three with pin number 4 now for checking this debound circuit is working or not connect an led on a pin number 3 with 1 kilo ohm resistor as a ground so you can see here 1 kilo ohm resistor from pin number 5 is also connected with a plus vcc and pin number 3 this is here is the led is connected with 1 kilo ohm resistor as a grounded okay After doing this all, apply plus VCC at pin number fourteen and ground at pin number seven. Here you can see the circuit diagram. Okay, so here this is the pin number seven which we applied the ground and for checking this debounce circuit is working or not. One wire is coming out from the ground which is used as a switch. We have to touch this wire. With register of pin number one and pin number five, according to this LED of this pin number three, pin number three LED will glowing. Let's see it is working or not. So you can see here we are touching this grounded wire with pin number one and pin number five register according to this diagram. and you will find that your led will blink so let's check this is the wire which you uh, using here so pin number 1 this is pin number 1 this is pin number 5 this is 1 and 5 and you will find that our debound circuit is working properly that means our clock pulse is generating high and low when the led is glowing clock pulse is high and when led is low clock pulse is low Okay, now for right shift, uh, this there are many conditions for the left shift, right shift, and so by using seven four nine five, we make the shift register uh, which consists our data. So there are number of pins, uh, different different pins as different different works. So this pin number one referred as a serial data input, and uh, p two three four five. are as the parallel data input pin number 6 called as a mode controlled and pin number 7 is grounded pin number 8 is clock 2 pin number 1 is clock 1 and 10 11 12 and 13 are parallel output pins and pin number 14 connected to the plus vcc now here we connected this clock with pin number 3 of debounce which is variable so variable that means clock is used for the different different conditions so let's see what is the condition for the uh, right shifting and for output we used here leds so for right shifting there are, uh, there is a um, conditions first of all this pin number 3 of debounce circuit should be connected at the pin number 9 of the 7495 So first of all first connect this debound circuit pin number 3 with pin number 9 of 7495 here we connected here 
okay you can see clearly it is connected now a second condition is that pin number 6 of 7495 that is mode control should be grounded so put this pin number 6 at a ground we put here pin number 6 at a ground and third condition is pin number 1 of 7495 that is serial input data sometimes it it would be ground or it would be uh, at a plus vcc that means sometimes we apply the logic 1 and sometimes we apply the logic 0 so according to according to the observation table you can put pin number 1 at a vcc or at a at a ground so first of all uh, we put pin number 1 at a plus vcc and uh, let's see what uh, is the result is it right shifting or not so you can see as at our low pulse that means when debounce led is off our output is glowing that means our uh, 7495 leds q1 q0 q1 q2 q3 are glowing so here see this is the high pulse no changes low pulse there is changes high pulse no changes low pulse there is changes so at low pulse we get our output so in observation table our clock pulse should be low and you can clearly see that this um, led is shifting from left to right let's see how it is shifting see the at a plus vcc this is high high clock so for uh, this is low clock led is glowing this is q1 q0 and this is again low this is q1 again low this is q2 and this is q3 that means here led is shifting from left to right and this is a right shift so in observation table you will see that at a clock we put arrow down that means our circuit is working at a low pulse and this ds so first we put the ds at one that is we apply the logic one that means our pin number 1 is at plus VCC and our LED is glowing increasing in order that means and now let us put it in ground and you will find that our LED will goes off ok. So when high logic is given LED is glowing increasing in order and when clock is low the LED will going off. So let us see properly. Uh, this is at a logic 1 and at low input or our q0 that means here q a is glowing and rest all zero again this is high pulse no changes and now let us apply the low pulse ok there is q b and q a both are glowing that is both are high and rest all zero similarly QC and QA, QB both all are high and rest all zero and uh, here all are high and nothing is zero. So basically it is shifting from left to right. So this is a right shift. Now you can make your observation table for the logic uh, low that means when uh, serial input data is at low and you will find that at a low pulse q a is goes off that means it is 0 and rest all high and again q b and q a both are 0 and rest all high similarly you can make all observation table now remember one thing we are applying the data serial input data that that's why we call as a serial input and parallel output and uh, in short it is called as a SIPPO and for SIPPO there is a CISO also that means a serial data and serial input data and serial output for uh, this all condition remain same but here we have to just observe the output at QD sometimes QD represented by the Q3 so whatever the data you get previous in QD just note down 
for CISO serial input and serial output. Now let's come to the left shifting same and let's see what is the condition for left shifting. So for left shifting remember left shifting there is also SIPPO and SISO. SIPPO serial input parallel output SISO serial input serial output. So left shifting the condition is that pin number 6 of a 7495 should be at plus VCC okay so we put here it is at plus VCC now clock pulse of uh, which coming from pin number 3 of a debound circuit is at pin number 8 of the 7495 so clock pulse should be at pin number 8 and the third condition is that connect pin number 2 to pin number 12, pin number 8 to pin number 11, pin number 4 to pin number 10 of IC 7495. These all should be connected to each other and use PD, actually PD that means P, A, P, B, P, C and PD means fourth parallel input are using as a high and low logic. So remove DS, here there is no use of DS, so remove the pin number 1. And now let's make the observation table. So first we put the PD as a logic one. So and let's see the left shifting. How is it working? So at a low pulse, you can see first QD is glowing. That means it's a right. It's a shifting from right to left. So that means first QD is glowing. QD is high and rest all zero. So in observation table at a clock low, at a low clock we find that uh, here this QD is glowing so QD and again QC again QB and similarly uh, we will find that QA is glowing now so at low clock when the PD at logic 1 our left shifting is working here we first according to observation made this observation now when PD is at 0, logic 0 and you will find that your LED will going to off. <coughs> so first uh, QD is off, 0, rest all 1, QC, rest all 1, QD, QB, rest all 1. Similarly, you will find that your left shifting is also working. So basically to perform this experiment you should know how to use the debound circuit and for uh, same condition for the CISO serial input and serial output just you have to do nothing just you have to observe output at QD so whatever the observation you find here at just note down for the CISO so this is for your left shifting now come to point at a parallel input and parallel output Par this is the third part of this experiment so the we call it a PIPO that is the parallel input and parallel output so condition for this experiment is mode control that is pin number 6 will be at plus VCC means what the condition or this previous observation all remain same just you have to use PA PB PC and PD as a parallel input i suggest for this use the long wires okay so condition remains same just you don't connect 2 to 4 8 to 11 and 4 to 10 whatever you connected just 
remove all the things and just use the PA, PB, PC and PD as a parallel input. Here we preset the data, whatever data we want to enter, we use PA, PB, PC, PD uh, by keeping this all four inputs high and low. Uh, we will get the output at QA, QB, QC and QD. So uh, let's uh, suppose we want to enter the data 1101 that means our PA as a plus BCC, PB at plus BCC, PC at ground and PD at plus BCC and you will find when, we, when you apply this clock pulse you will find that your only that LED will glow which input is high that means only QA, QB and QD will be glow and QC will remain off because PC is at ground. So here you can see only similarly you can put any data according to your choice and you will find your parallel input and parallel output is working properly. So, perform this experiment very successfully and uh, all the data, all writing material, all theory material I put in my description links. From there you can collect and perform your experiment and whatever difficulties you feel, comment. If you like, then subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.